Today on Dead Dodge Garage, it's a 69 Dodge Charger. Like the worst 69 Dodge Charger. Wow, it's junk. I think I might have to put a roof skin on it. <laughs> this is my brother. Like me, he's kind of a weirdo. And like me, as you can tell, he has excellent taste in automobiles. None of the rest. That's, well, that's factory light, isn't it? Yeah, but just that. And the rest is gone. Ugh, have you smelled this one? Um, I think I'd rather not. We'll just, oh, you know, it, it doesn't work as well as the one on my car. Hmm. Oh, yeah. okay. Like many cars on this channel, this one kind of has a story. The story is when we first started coming here to the Mopar Ranch about 10 years ago, this charger was in the bushes over here. Its original intended purpose was to be a parts car for the good charger, you know, the 69 RT. But uh, over the years, every charger has become a good charger and every charger has become more saving. And when we saw it here in the bushes, we were amazed and maybe a little disgusted. So for no reason at all, we took to removing the bushes from the thing and dragged it out of here. I think eventually the owner of the property and this car came to see things our way, decided the thing was worth saving. So we moved it here to the concrete pad, which was great. Until about five winters ago, when the ginormous tree that used to be right there um, came apart in the wind. A humongous branch broke off in, you know, gale force winds or whatever, and flew this way into the car, which unfortunately did some stuff in this area. You see, it used to have a windshield and a dashboard. Those were removed with gusto, but it's still a 69 charger, which means it's still worth saving. Now that's not all of the less than ideal details on this thing. In fact, there are quite a few. For one thing, Mother Nature's been lightening this tail panel for decades. The roof skin and upper quarter panel section are getting a little Swiss cheesy too. Now, this is no fancy pants expensive RT. It's just a 383 four barrel car, but it's still pretty good. In fact, this is an original 69 pale yellow white hat special, but with a black top. Figure that one out. There are more than a few things missing in here, but that's a problem that's easily solved. It's a little lacking in the hood department. Hmm. Luckily, this guy's a total nut. He's already started collecting parts for this thing, including a new hood. The more we look, well, the worse it gets. So maybe we just shouldn't look. He's already made a pretty substantial investment in AMD sheet metal too. Tail panel, valence, etc. Are you on a waiting list for OE quarter panels? Should be. Yeah, you should be. Hmm. Ooh, cop car wheels. Not much of this looks very good. There's something particularly bad under here that's gonna need attention. We don't need to worry about that for now. Have you looked at the floor? Um, no. <laughs> Should I? Maybe. Is there one? Um, kinda. My own seat. What are you doing? I'm trying to pull the seat forward. Oh. Too late. Goodbye. You know, I think this car might need an interior. Yeah. Hey, that looks nice, but it doesn't come with. Here's a neat piece. That's a driver's side door off a red 68 charger. Mmm. As you can see, this car is a humongous project, but someday in the future, it'll be making tire smoke again, I hope. But first, he's kind of got to do the metal on that one. Yeah. Anyway, this guy doesn't own a truck or a car trailer, so you can probably look forward to a rescue video sometime in the future. We'll get this thing out of here and back to, well, not the middle of nowhere and see what we got. Ooh, yeah, Mostly little, rust, I think. <laughs> This ain't no good. No, it's junk. No. Scrap it. Yeah, I've heard everyone's scrapping their classic Mopars right now, so you should probably do that. Save you a lot of trouble. Hey, you know, the good news is AMD engineers and their kids will definitely be eating for years to come. Thanks to this car. Parked since October of 1991. Wow. Yeah, it's still super cool. Ooh, shackles. Those have to stay wrong with you look at that four shift column that's a nice start oh yes thanks to yours truly he does also have a replacement dash panel already mm -hmm. what a beat pile this is a bit of a process thankfully he already ripped the headliner out and it's not in my hair like in tom's car i live in here now but it's not too bad 
Okay, there's a horrible dip in the hood, but other than that, you know, very similar view to mine. It smells a little worse. Just a little. A remote mirror? Luxury! Oh wait, I forgot there's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Convenient access for the windshield wall. Hmm. Where's the buddy seat? This is junk. I'm gonna put a console in it. Oh god. Is this bolted down? Oh, that one gets none of this doesn't line up. Where are my seat? <laughs> Well, what do you think? Is it the new Bluesmobile or what? Fix the cigarette lighter. What cigarette lighter? Mm. It's 2,500 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it kind of needs some stuff. It needs one of these. It definitely needs one of those. What am I kicking? Dude, it's oh, the mint. Ruining your the steering column trail. Oh. That was, that was perfect before. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. As I can tell by all the parts that are not sitting right here. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Yeah, chunky. Looks like it works too. Nice. Well, that's about it for this crusty pile for now. It'll be cool someday. Hi dogs. Is it everything you ever wanted and more? Much more. Huh. Yeah, I take it back. Yeah. She's a little rough. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, rust never sleeps. You ever put your hand in one of these? Uh, not yet.